So let me uh, start to set up. So the set up is. Um, oh, uh, actually, the, the title of the talk was about geo two times geo three, rock and silver. Um, so after I send my abstract to the to the conference organizers, so we start to work harder and harder. It turns out during the two months, we actually. Uh, Prove the result for G L n times G L plus one for for all n. So, so maybe you can see or multi. So the setup is the following: I have to work with a same extension, so f over zero. Same extension of the real field. <coughs> um, and we've got a lot of group. Generated by C. So it's not trivial evolution. Um, And we consider <coughs> cascade the optimal representation. Pi n cascade the optimal thing. Um, okay, reducible of G O N for the field F. And the same thing we have G O N plus one. And we assume this is a cohomological. For the trivial coefficient. So it shows up in the, in the cohomology of the certain Shimura variety attached to the unitary group. Um, so, so this is also polarized though. So it's conjugate self U. <coughs> conjugate self U. This counter gradient is isomorphic to uh, Sorry, that's definitely true. So, <laughs> the compass can repeat the evolution, Galois evolution. So conjugate self duality. So we write E as a field of definition. So the heck, the heck field, field of coefficient uh, of, of pi n. So actually, I will bring a pair. Okay, for the moment, I don't have to, but later on, I will bring a pair of representations for G L N and G L N plus one respectively. So for the moment I will just work with one. So from here, by the work of many people, starting from uh Codwiz, Kawazel and Harris Tanner, Sugushin, Shinavi, Harris, uh, so one can attach the law representation. So for each prime for each, so for each place of, of E over a prime L, which will be fixed for, throughout this talk. So um, so such a place you can attach Galois representation or rho pi n, rho of lambda. So this is a representation, continuous representation of Galois group of the algebraic coil of f over f. Um, goes to goes to G O N, n dimensional representation of an aortic field E lambda. <coughs> So it satisfies nice local global compatibility, particularly in those good places. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's restriction to the decomposition group should be unramified, and its the same identification should be given by the local local and local Sataki parameter of the recognition pi at those places. Um, so, so, our, so I have to tell you there's some certain normalization. So this one. So n number, if you take its compass, if you contribute by this uh, law evolution, it's isomorphic to its spew up to a twist. So the twist we choose is 1 minus n, so the, so the weight of this representation is, is n minus 1. Wait. In my situations, uh, this representation shows up in the cohomology of uh, 
of uh, Shimura variety um, uh, in such a degree of cohomology. Okay, so now I'm gonna run a pair, as I said earlier. Um, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna run pi n, so pi being <coughs> a pair pi n and pi n plus one. So, so, so the same the same construction works for plus one, and I get a pair of uh, our contagions. So now I have to <coughs> possibly uh, take a larger pick field. Uh, so I get rule and I'm done. Rule and plus <coughs> one. So with, with such data, so let me recall you the so-called so the so the broad count of similar group. Recall the definition. Similar group um, attached to such a Galois representation. So let me write as following, so if you have a V, so V will on will be the tensor product. So V over E lambda is, is a Galois representation. Continuous. Um, so, the, so the same group is defined as following. So let me write as H1F. Such a representation V is defined as as the kernel <coughs> global. So the unrestricted first component, um, but you impose. So this is parallel to the definition of a similar group for uh, for elliptic curve. For example, uh, so this is so product over all the, all the places. Locally, so I have I consider the local Galois homology, um, and I have defined the local, so the so-called H1F. Where um, so the local guy, so, so the key is I have to tell you what, what this guy is. This guy is defined. Um, so in the case when the place V has characteristic differ from my coefficient L, so it's defined. It's, it's easy to define when when V is away from L. So you define this as so-called unramified cohomology. Uh, then we um, and in the kernel, the unramified, let me just write that unramified, namely those which can be trivialized after this chain to the maximum unramified extension. So the second one, in the case when, when V is above L, this is slightly more, uh, uh, so more complicated. You use, so you define this as those classes which become trivialized after you extend the coefficient to, to decrease. So the Fontaine's theorem is print. <coughs> okay, so that's the definition of the Rohokato similar group. It's a vector space of finite dimensional over over um, over the coefficient of the representation. Um, so we, we apply this situation to, we apply this definition to the case. So V will be the tensor product here. So we apply this definition to this situation. Um, <coughs> so that's the same group. And you can, now let me just recall you that the conjecture of a special case of 
and conjectural <coughs> of Bennett's and Brough account. So conjecture. It says the following. For any, any place lambda above L and pi so V and the product pi and as above, so we can look at the ranking zero L function, so the L function pi and ranking zero convolution with pi plus one. So, so here I'm normalizing, so it's, its center is at s equal to half. So look at the order of vanishing. Um, so it's, it's predicted to be equal to dimension of the Broca Carlos Singer group. Of V, the Roy, and the Roy. One, so twist by, uh, twist by, let me see, twist by n. So I have a weight minus one. So, yeah. So this is a special case of so the Benison. Uh, conjecture, uh, generalizing the process on direct conjecture to higher dimensional special case. Um, okay. Um, so here I should emphasize that our representation is assumed to be cohomological for the trivial coefficient. So it doesn't, for the moment, we haven't worked on the more higher weight situation. So, um, so I should now maybe well maybe I should just point out this conjecture of Brouwer Kato is more general than what I stated. It's 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 supposed to be correct. With, it's, so their conjecture is about arbitrary uh, geometric color representation uh, or I mean motive. But so the point here is you you can formulate this conjecture without reference to not like the actual motivic realization. I mean, so it's more flexible to just work with the Galois representation or the compatible family of Galois representation, as long as you can attach Galois representation, uh, uh, L function, and the L function can be understood. In this case, using automorphic methods. Um, so. Maybe since we have a very broad audience here, I also just want to mention not so a formal direction to this conjecture. Um, if we know sufficient, if we have sufficient knowledge about the Brouwer-Kato conjecture, like I said earlier, it's it's about it's about any any mode, so it's any v. It doesn't have to be to the weight minus one. So here we are looking at the value at, at the center. So the value at off center is even easier to understand. For example, you know it's down zero if if you are in the range of absolute convergence. So particularly if you, if you so let me just point out one just one remark, which um, which came up in the in the past semester stage seminar. So, where I learned the following: if if you assume V is is a product of H one of a certain curve, if you take any curve um, um, over a number field, so if you look at the first polynomial, so you take tensor product so n times, okay, di different n. Um, twist by one. So the weight is, is going to be positive if n is bigger than two, or non-negative if n is bigger than e 
not a true. So by the so by the trivial case of rural cattle conjecture, one would expect a similar group to be for, for this module is supposed to be uh, to be trivial. Or cultural conjecture would imply this is trivial, and actually the the so-called non-abelian version of Chabaldi of, of Minyong Kim would tell you that if you assume this is true for B n or n bigger equal to two, if you assume this, you can actually prove or you can give a new proof of the model conjecture. So, so the non-abelian. So one of being Chabaldi. So we'll tell you that so the curve. So model conjecture for, for C. Um, so as I said, this is completely orthogonal to what, I, what we are doing. We are working with the central value um, and this. Is actually for it's, it's a point where the L function will be is supposed to be convergent absolutely. So now let me state our result. Um, so for that, I have to give a very technical definition, <laughs> which is hidden, which is hidden here. So I have to impose. <laughs> so I have to impose this. I have to choose a, a, a place L. This is my definition. Uh, so this definition involves, so for, for the given pi and pi and plus one, I have, I have to assume this prime L, this place lambda, satisfies the following conditions. Um, Can you raise the bar a little bit? Yep, I will. It'll, it'll shadow. It will shadow, so I will go over here. Uh, but. For, for people who are familiar with the story of uh, OER system for, for the case of the elliptic curve, when one applies those arguments of Kolivagen OER system, you are, in many cases, you have to impose uh, conditions on the Galois representation, especially on the residual Galois representation. So here I'm imposing various conditions, but you should not worry about those conditions for the moment because. It, I mean, unless you know the proof, you wouldn't even care about those conditions. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it suffices to say that those conditions are they came they came up in the process of the proof, and they are supposed to be are harmless if we know enough about the Rizzi representation for, for higher dimensional Galois representation, which unfortunately we don't have too much information. Uh, uh, so let me just quickly. Saying that, I, I want this prime to be big enough, um, and I want the residual protein to be absolutely irreducible, and I want the tensor product of the residual representation to contain certain non trivial scanner. I mean, those conditions are probably very familiar to, to Barry. <laughs> and so there is a condition, on this idea of being isolated. This is just because we're, for the moment, we haven't spent much time to improve this. It probably can be removed. So basically, you want this Galois, uh, this eigenvalues, eigenvalue attached to, um, so, so eigen character of Hecke algebra for certain spherical Hecke algebra. So the eigen character attached to the given algebra representation, only this one to be does not have any non-trivial uh, congruence. So there's only one one lifting from cars, from the residual one to to the constant zero. So. And more serious are those local conditions, but um, so the condition M lambda is for pi for 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 pi for pi for, 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 for oh. So you can formulate a condition for each individual row, but here it's for the pair. Which, uh, for for both. Yeah. So, so for pi. So you start with this pair of automorphic representation, so then you impose a condition on the, on the attached Galois representation. Um, 
it's probably better if I give some example later where those can be can be actually verified. So so they, they don't give you an empty set of examples. <laughs> So are we, are we seeing any more on those? Okay, I can say for now the last condition. So the so the generic decomposable at certain split places is to in order to apply the, the certain torsion freeness of, of our current shots and the cohomology of Schmoor right. So so the series condition five is to apply certain polyvagons or your system type argument. Um, or actually more precisely is, is the version where probably in that room, uh, uh, uses to prove certain rank zero case of process and direct conjecture. Um, so I will say those later on, those conditions. So, so this one, number five, is something. So this condition I will see. I will comment later. So for now, let me, so under those hypotheses, I can state our result, which says, so here, <coughs> We can prove is so five less. So we can prove is that for such pi, <coughs> and so this such place, well, it's customary to call to, to call such place admissible, but. It's just to abuse the name, so it's admissible. So, so this is admissible. And then, so then this conjecture holds if in the case of rank zero. So if the L function has rank zero, The, the same or group is zero. So that's the results we can um, prove. So before giving examples, let me just give some remark uh, on Related. So here, this is about the case of uh, rank zero. So, I'm, so we're starting from the case the L function has order zero. Um, so we do have a result for rank one, but it's, it's much more, it's sort of less, less satisfactory. So there is a result. So in the case of Order of L function is equal to one. But, well, in a sense, you have to assume certain so certain algebra cycles coming from the gangros prasad conjecture, the arithmetic version of the gangros prasad conjecture. So, if I assume this algebra cycle doesn't doesn't vanish uh, in the in the first cohomology, so it's assuming so you need this condition that. So the GGP, so the Gangros Prasad, the Gangros Prasad algebra cycles, the diagonal cycles, so called. So if this cycle has non trivial has non zero contribution to, to the same group, as managed in each one. So in that case, you can also prove so under this stronger, well, under this condition that this cycle class doesn't vanish, then you can prove the rank of the same group is one. So like just like the case of gross Zagier Klevagen situation. Um, so that's the case of rank one. I should also see that this rank one result. So there's also independent, a different proof for the wrong one case by uh, Jeshev 
and the scanner. So we have a work in progress. To prove the wrong quantities, and then you need to assume that cycle class doesn't vanish, and then you prove the rock is actually one. For the wrong quantities. Uh, so there we reconstruct by constructing an anti cyclotomic version of our system. As I, I will describe later, our proof doesn't really construct OER system in the sense of Kolibagin. Instead, we have a OER system in the sense of Borderline Dabon. So, so we use congruence, so we change Shimura variety. So they only use they only to use one particular Shimura variety without changing Shimura variety. Can you in the right zero case? Do you yes. also get this integrally? Which one? You mean the? I mean, in your theorem, oh, oh, you mean to, to get a YouTube version? Yeah, for, for large enough key or other something. Uh, actually, no, for the moment. So we really work with the currency zero coefficient. So, so in other words, for example, we don't, actually we don't prove, at least we don't know yet, uh, if you do a, a finite, finite coefficient, you're supposed to get a zero similar group when the prime is large enough. We actually don't, don't yet. We haven't checked carefully, but it seems to be the case. We, we don't get the result. So, so that's some, some problem here. But, but we're happy enough to get this result. So now let me, let me give examples of, so, so regarding those conditions, I have to tell you at least uh, you, you do have some non empty, non empty examples. So the examples that I want to discuss come from uh, Illumin curves. So, so recall that this very useful trick by taking by taking product. So if you have one curve, you can take you can take product. Um, so it, it is very productive to take product. Um, like like we know that the working syndrome is kind of a product. Um, where Dani used in his proof of V conjecture. Or V to use it to, to prove the Riemann hypothesis for, for, for curve over finite field. Um, or, like in the Sato Tate case, you take the product of the curve. Um, sorry, okay, it's this page. So, here we're going to take a product of the curve. So give examples. Um, so, let's take the curves. curve. Uh, so, A and B. Assume they're modular, so I have to assume they're modular in the curve. So over, over F0, which is my total real field. Okay, this is a total real field. Um, so I can take a product. Well, the best thing I hope to do is to understand all the sort of the motive of this product, so A to the nth power, B to the mth power. This seems to be very hard. Uh, so what we are really interested in is a certain special case. Maybe we, we consider the motive of the symmetric power, H1 of A, so to the nth power, then times the symmetric power of H1 of B. Um, M plus one. So, so assume, so assume A and B don't have complex multiplication. No complex multiplication. And also assume A and B are not geometrically isogeny. So not so isogeny. Something is to each other. So over our algebra closure. Uh, 
Um, so then we consider, so this will be, and assume this is modular, so assume it's emission power. So we know this, uh, we know some examples of the modularity for symmetric power when, 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 a, when the exponent is not too big. Suppose, assume, assume. So this is known for n at least. Uh, uh, for, okay, so for n, most free. Um, I mean, let, let me actually write this way, n minus 1. And n, so that this is really on g of g on plus 1. I mean, the corresponding automorphic contains on g on plus 1. So that it's known to be modular for small n and for, for maybe for slightly bigger n by, uh, by the work of, the recent work of Clausio and the Jack Thorne. So, so we have such examples of mod modularity for symmetry power. Um, and those, if you take base change, so this will give you example pi, pi n and pi n plus one attached to the base change. So you take base change in those guys. Um, so attached to base change. Minus one. Um, and under those conditions that we don't have complex multiplication and they are not isogeny to each other, you can so you can choose. So when L and R came out. It's an art. You can. Um, Will be, will be admissible in a sense. So in a sense, uh, I just define on, on the top. So you can, you are able to choose large prime, uh, uh, large residue characteristic L. So the residue power representation will satisfy, will provide those, uh, will satisfy those all those conditions. So I should comment that ideally one would like to study all possible you know, all possible pieces of modium appearing in, in this program. This amounts to study all possible symmetrical power of one of those two guys times the symmetrical power, not necessarily uh, n, n plus one, but arbitrary pair. So ideally one would like to study all possible Rankin zero instead of just G and times G plus one. But for the moment, we're, we're only uh, able to do the constructing for G O and G O plus one. Okay, uh, so that's the result I want to describe. Then I want to describe some ingredients of the proof. So the, so the starting point is is following. Um, so I know they all function down the vanish, and on my automorphic representation, they all they can all be descended. They can descend to to unitary group. So I will consider a unitary group. So the condition on on the order of L function. Thank you. 
to zero, so that I can, so first of all, I can descend this ribbon into a unitary group, and by the global Gangrus process conjecture. here. Okay, I, I should say that here I'm also relying on, implicitly, I didn't mention, I'm also relying on certain improvement version of Gangrus process, which, which some part of those still in, in progress of, of work of people in, in trace formula, but I will, I will omit in this talk. Um, so this tells you that you can find a definite unit group, definite unit group. Many Archimedean places, they are all uh, compact. So G, which is you know, some form of UN unit of N variable, N plus Y variable, um, such that, so the so called Gangor's Prasad here is integral, doesn't vanish. <coughs> so, so where I have a subgroup, certain diagonal embedding. Smaller unitary group such that so here is the one. Doesn't manage. So this is the starting point. Um, so you get a list construction. So then, you want to construct a system of cohomology class, which will be used to bound the size of the similar group. So you want to, starting from here, you, you produce a system of cohomology class, C class indexed by um, Prime. Okay, so now my, so my notation might be a little weird. So, so parameters by, or maybe, maybe V, so parameters by integer, so which will be used to do reduction of my Galois potential modular power, F power of L. I will do modular L to nth power of the Galois representation. So we will take reduction module this, this power. And V is a is the inert place. So here's my um, sort of refined version of, of this condition star. So from, so from this condition, you can of course you can choose infinitely many such primes instead of just one by Chibotar of density. So those classes, they will, they will be in H1 over F. The rule is, is the rule is a tensor product modular L to M power. And those classes, so the localization, the, the local information of the V, the same place V, Is controlled by so the localization is controlled by by the same by this period you give. So you know the local information at this place um, by certain so-called reciprocity law. So you, you know those local localization in terms of the non-manager level function. So particularly you know those class will be now zero um, if M is big enough. So this will be the the system of cohomology class, which we use to bound the size of the same group. And I should tell you where, where do they come from? Where do those classes come from? So they come from, so here I'm starting with a definite unitary group. And one can get a, a nearby unitary group. By changing 
the signature are keeping in place and changing uh, the isomorphic class of the group at, at the place B at the same time. So given G, this is a definite unitary group. So given a inert place B, um, so I can choose, I can find a nearby nearby in a sense, it's attached, it is, well, it's attached to the formation space, which is, which has signature. So G, V. Um, so this is attached to, so this has signature. So you change, Signature of the one Archimedean place into one and minus one. Archimedean place of one place and of V. So V inert and under the group G, GV. GV is, is the arm of Where you choose such, such that the new group G, G, GV, V is not isomorphic to G, not V. It's not. Oh, it's not, right. So, okay, so that's. So, in this way, you can produce a Shimura variety attached to. Well, okay, I'm describing really for each, each factor, then you do the product. Um, so, you can attach a Shimura variety. So here, there's a certain technique issue by uh, where you have to replace the group unitary group by by the, semi, the unitary group with the semi-unitary factors. So where are right here? Um, so as in the GGP can arithmetic version of GGP. And here you have the diagonal cycles. So remember, everything can be should be really carried out for this subgroup H, which is definitely here you replace by that nearby and, and so on. So you get you get an algebra cycle. This sub variety will give you algebra cycle. And this will provide so from here, so I have a similar variety attached to the subgroup and changing the Class at V, certain so level structure, and I have to do the Shimura root to G, changing at V. Um, so every time, if you pick a place V, you get this construction. Um, and here, so the group at V is now aromified, it's attached to a formation space, so locally at V is attached to a formation space, which does not have a self dual language. So what do you do is you take a uh, as best as you can. So you take you take a lattice which is nearly self dual. Um, so this this guy will have bad reduction for V. So we have so we have integral model. So we have this integral model um, which are regular. And semi-stable reduction. Semi-stable reduction. So if you think of the special case of GO2, a unit of two variable, uh, so you would actually get uh, the case of Greenfield upper half plan. So you will get a semi-stable reduction where the special fibers are uh, two families of projective lines. But this is a high dimensional version, and unfortunately, it's not so straightforward to, to describe the geometry of the special fiber. Unless n is, so n is 2 is very special. So if n is bigger than 4, bigger, even, well, bigger, bigger than 2. Um, so, so the only case which is easy to describe is actually the case of modular, modular curve, the Shimura curve. For higher dimensional case, is slightly more involved. 
Um, so, so, so now I'm, I'm done with those classes. Um, so they come from this, this algebra cycle. Oops. So in the end, I want to. So you have to study. So, so the difficulty part, difficult part, is to study. So the localization of those combos in class, and to make a connection. To, to those. Um, to the automorphic appearance integral on a definite unitary group. Um, so I'm gonna describe one case. So you have to do this for each. So you have to do some work for each. Factor of the two shimmer varieties. So I'm taking a product of two shimmer varieties. So I have to study a certain level reason phenomenon. So I have to realize you have to realize the level reason in a geometric way. So you have to realize the level reason in terms of those special algebra cycles. Um, so let me just give one case. I have, as I said, I have to do it both for for both factors for the both shimmer varieties. What I can do is I can describe this from one for one of them. So, so let me recall you those shimmer varieties. Um, so I should say that here my remark, um, in the first remark, in the case of rank one, so where are you we start you will start with a Indefinite unitary group, then you switch to a nearby one which is definite. So there's a certain switch of switch of a sign of function equation. Um, so I will do I will describe a simple case which is actually which is not actually used in this process. It's not used directly for, for this construction, but it's parallel. So the phenomenon is very close. So let me describe a case where so when I should roll right, that's good with actually. So, so, so maybe sounds this might sound confusing because here I said this has battery reduction and a semi-stable and battery reduction at V. But I would describe a parallel situation. So now let me recall you that my shimura right here. So now let's just consider one factor. Right here. Attached to the unit variable of n variable for n for n even. Um, and I choose B to be a inert place. So I have a level. So K, so K is a compact open. I'm changing notation now, my G is really the G, G V. Okay, I mean it's a different V. So so let me consider a shimura right attached to U U1 and minus one. Um, and with the level K, so we're K. So my so G is now the, the indefinite one. Change the notation a little bit. So find out what else. So choosing a compact open so, such that KV is actually hyperspecial. So I'm looking at the, the good reduction case. Uh, okay, so this guy has. Well, again, I'm really using GU. So, so GU. And I have a. PL type modular problem, which give, gives me a good, re, good, re, good integral model over, over only a certain place above V, um, smooth model. So now you look at the special fiber, and then you look at the super single locus. So the super single locus. Over the residue field, uh, so this 
this change to K to this algebra closure. So this has a nice description in terms of uh, the Borea Tis theory of this unihar group. Um, so roughly speaking, this is a distilled union of certain uh, certain diagnostic varieties. DL variety. So the point, the key point is those, those varieties so parameterized by a definite unihar group. So you should think of the example which shows up in yesterday's in the talk of Akshay yesterday, where if you think of the Shimura curve case, the super singular points are parameterized by, by the definite patern paternal algebra. So this is a high dimensional situation. So you have a definite unitary group, so parameterized um, irreducible components of the super singular locus. So the key point is the dimension is exactly below half. So the dimension is 2 to the n minus 1. When you choose floor function. Um, well, so n is even, so this really, so let me just write as, so I'm using the fact n is even, if n is odd, so if n is even, you just get n half minus 1. And this total, the special fiber, so the special fiber, special fiber has dimension n minus 1. So it's exactly, well, this is odd integer, so it does not have half integer. I mean, it does, it's half is not integer. So this is exactly the closed possibility uh, to the half dimension. So now what do you do? So you have those algebra cycles. So I can, so I can consider um, the cycle class map. So I consider all of those I consider a very Jacobi map. So attached to this place. So those this is the so you look at special fiber and you look at other cycles. Supporting on, on the super single locus. So let me just write as super single locus. So dimension is n divided by 2 minus 1. So you, know, you, you take a localization. At, so this, I mean, this is a Heck module. The Heck algebra away from this place, still acting. Still Heck acting. So away from the Heck algebra, away from this place. So you localize like, certain maximal ideals. This goes to H1 of the middle dimensional cohomology of the spatial fiber. Okay, I'm ignoring this, the peg shift. Also, you localize this maximum ideal. Um, so, the conjecture. Which we call hard Ihara, the hard version of Ihara lemma, is that this is actually surjective if this is surjective. It's not. If M is as in this definition for is admissible. So here, so my admiss admissibility condition was for, for this pair. You can do the same definition by forgetting one factor. So what do you get will be the definition of admissibility. So key fact is that so here you, you only consider this condition of where so if n is even, so you get this condition where the pairwise, um, so the Sataki parameter in this place, so, so the pairwise ratio will be distinct from, from QV, which is cardinality of, of this residue field. 
except for one pair. If there's one pair where it's distinct pair, the ratio of distinct pairs of the Sataki eigenvalues um, is equal to QV modulo, um, modulo L. If such a pair is unique, that's the point. It could be multiple pairs, but you want this to be unique. So then this will be surjective. So, so this is one, this is easy to state, but hard to prove, which we don't know how to prove. And there is a, a version where we use there, it's, it's hard to describe, but it's easy to prove, and we prove it. So, so I'm pres presenting a hard, hard conjecture, but it's easier to, to, to state. Um, so I should say that you have to do similar thing for two other situations. So, so this is in a torsion situation because I'm looking at um, really something modular L, and you also do. So, so you do. You also have a similar version when is R, where this guy will be exact half dimension, and the similar. So that you will change the situation to consider instead of Abu Jacob, you just look at the contribution of cycle class in the space of tet cycles. So where you have a similar conjecture, well, which is proved, which says that the cycle class of those irreducible components from super single locus, they actually contribute to the tet cycles for the cohomology in the middle dimension, generic, where generic meaning is exactly this, what I wrote here. So, okay, here is for, a, for, for the case A, right? So, for an R, we have a switch and an N plus one. So, so meaning there's only exact one eigenvalue in the hockey parameter. Exactly one guy which give you a contribution of theta cycles. <coughs> so, this was studied extensively by, by uh, Tian, Yi Chao Tian and Liang Xiao and Liang Xiao and Xin Wenfu. So, we have a full picture on, on those. Cycle class. And what I'm presenting here is, is a version which is, in some sense, a torsion version, where you consider instead of cycle class model, you consider the uh, object of model. And then there's a version, both version for good reduction. So there's a third question, which is for the semi stable reduction, which is re related to what I needed over there. So you can imagine there's a version for that, but with bad reduction. So in some sense, you can reconstruct everything if you know the principle, but every case is different. You have to do different work. And what we were able to prove is that other two cases, so, so we, we, we call it easy hard one. <laughs> so I'm presenting a hard, hard one for you, so maybe you can inspire people who can prove it. Um, so those are the key ingredients in the proof. I, I can stop here.